It's amazing. We can jump. We can fight. We can kick. And we can dance. Hello guys, welcome back to Sweet Viver. I'm so happy today because I was able to make this video for you. I got the chance to try out Aikinima Orion. It's an advanced engine for full body tracking with the HTC Vive that's hopefully going to be added in a lot of games in the future. And well, there's not many people that have tried this yet, but I'm one of them and that's all thanks to the developers of Aikinima. So guys, join me into virtual reality. We're going to try Aikinima Orion in a lot of different scenarios and we're going to have some fun. Let's go! So, welcome guys. We are going to try out the Aikinima Orion engine and uh, well, this is all about full body tracking. I'm using six different points to track myself with the HTC Vive lighthouses and uh, the first tracker is the headset of course. The two other trackers are my controllers and I'm holding regular Vive controllers. Uh, the fourth tracker is the first Vive tracker that I put on my hip. I put it on the side. I'm going to explain later why. You can put it actually any anywhere around on your hip or your back or so. This is just to track your body movements like this. And also two Vive trackers, one on each foot. So I didn't put them on the legs because I want to have those movements, well, possible with my trackers. So, well, first of all, before we even begin, I want to say thank you so much to the team of Aikinima uh, to, that let me do this video, that let me try their beautiful software. There aren't many people that has access to this yet, so I'm so honored to be able to test it out. Thank you so much, guys. So, well, having that said, let's begin. We're going to do a few scenarios, some, uh, well, some cool tasks with this body and we're going to see how cool it works. So let's begin by just walking around a little bit uh, in my little small uh, room scale area and we'll see how it looks in the virtual reality with full body tracking and Aikinema Orion uh, software. Wow. You can probably see how cool this looks. It's so natural. The movements are just so natural. Like I'm moving, like I'm holding my hands and everything, you know, it's just, wow. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed about this. This is just beautiful. If you see any tracking loss or something on my legs and so, that's because I have so much stuff in my room. So it's not easy to actually, well, have perfect, 100% perfect tracking on everything. I have a very small room. Uh, to record this, it's only two and a half. Well, the play space area is two and a half times two meters, or, well, around that. So there's not much of room, but we're going to try to do this anyway, as as good as I can. So that was just walking, and look at this; it just looks beautiful. So let's do some little bit jogging. I tried to do that with, in my little area. Hi, let's go. <laughs> Man, look at that! Incredible. This is just incredible. Let's try to jump a little bit. Wow, nice. <laughs> Man, I look so cool in that body. I can see my full body like this. My legs, my feet, everything. It's just so realistic. It's ridiculously realistic. Every move of my feet on my legs and you're going to see the cool stuff when I try to do some more advanced, well, tasks and scenarios. Next step, we're going to just try to crouch. Okay, so let's do, let's go down. Oh, sorry. My balance is not perfect like this. So we're crouching and look at how the knees are following the body just perfectly. I mean, <laughs> let's do some squats, you know, holding some weights. Yeah, of course I have to hold my controllers in a good position. Otherwise, uh, I mean, the elbows are following the hand movements, of course. So 
they could look a little bit strange but they actually doesn't don't do that man this looks nice so that was crouching let's do some let's do like this oh guys amazing look at every movement i'm doing and it's just following me i'm moving my leg like this and it just follows look at the foot wow and my hands <laughs> well that's a cool pose anyway wow guys so let's just do some more advanced stuff now we're gonna do go down and lay down on the floor and I'm gonna just realign myself in my small little room scale area and just do some crunches yeah oh man I haven't been working out for a while and look at my body over here I just see it perfectly it really feels like this is my body and man oh god i'm getting sweaty already well anyway guys look how i move around this is wow i'm so impressed and i'm gonna cross my legs sitting down here like this take a look at that it just really well it understands that i'm crossing my legs that's so spectacular that's that's amazing guys look at that <laughs> well i'm gonna change the angle so you can see how it looks from this angle I mean look at that amazing stuff so let's do this hopefully the tracking is gonna be good anyway look at that and do some cool well that's very good for the abs by the way ah uh, man getting sweaty now uh, well what more to try well how about some real crouching then or creeping on the floor yeah <laughs> man this is so cool and uh, well yes we can actually turn around 360 degrees and it just works <laughs> so well this is amazing this is amazing guys well that was some exercises and well I forgot one thing guys let's go down and do some push-ups okay just like I did in my last video with the easy well with that simple version of full body tracking <laughs> look at this man he really moves look at this <laughs> oh man I think even the porn industry could gain from this <laughs> as a side note only guys so well good work man high five <laughs> well okay so let's continue so let's try to sit on the chair and we're gonna see how the animation looks so I have a chair here at the back of me and wow this is so nice looks perfect stands up perfectly <laughs> wow amazing stuff I'm gonna do something very very dangerous I cannot see anything in this room right now because I have my HTC Vive on but I'm just gonna try to stand like this and go down and go up man look at those movements everything is just so naturally well it's just so realistic it's amazing this technology guys this is the future i don't know what to say well i'm impressed so let's move on so uh, well we're gonna try out some scenarios that well hopefully looks good in uh, well with Aikinima Orion engine so let's go I'm gonna realign myself and try to do some golfing okay this is my first try so I've never done this before I cannot align my hands together fully well maybe something like that but that's not gonna look perfect but who cares about that let's just have them like this and uh, well let's do some swinging well I'm not a golfer okay guys so I don't know if I did this right but it definitely looked very very nice in this mirror over here so let's continue I cannot uh, close my hands uh, to do some punches but think about it boxing games or fighting games okay let's do some cool fighting moves yeah I mean look at this I'm gonna change the angle so you can see think about it playing against multiplayer against your friend and with those movements maybe do some kicking like this 
well, I'm not a kicker, you know. I've never done any mar martial arts, mixed martial arts or anything like that. So I'm a bad kicker, but I mean, look at this. It just looks so nice. So let's move on and do some other sports now. Well, how about bowling, okay? <laughs> Imagine I having this bowling ball over here and... Uh, <laughs> oh man, maybe I don't do that perfectly right as it's supposed to be, but who cares about that? This looks so, well, realistic in any way. And tennis then, how about tennis, okay? I'm holding my racket and like, yeah, forehand, backhand, forehand, and a smash. <laughs> well, guys, this could be cool. And also table tennis, for example. Yeah, forehand there, smash, and uh, backhand, one backhand again. So, well, think about those possibilities. They're endless. I mean, there's so many cool games we can have this implemented in. I mean, think about it, games like Onward or Virtual Warfighter, Pavlov, well, having that body sneaking around with your weapon. But come on, come on, come on, guys, come on. Let's go, let's move on. You know, like crouching around, doing all those cool soldier moves. I mean, it's having the weapon like this. Think about it. I mean, imagine having a weapon now and doing those cool moves, wow. How about some football? Guys, we've been playing so much final goalie lately and think about having this Akinima Orion engine inside of Final Goalie VR game. So let's just try to do a kick. Imagine having a ball standing over there. And I'm gonna just do a penalty kick. Wow. Nah, I'm looking at my mirror over here as well. All, all, almost all the time. So if you wonder where I'm looking over there. So one more try. A little bit harder. Yeah. <laughs> And a throw in, maybe. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm not a football player, so I'm not sure if you, I do this right. Think about basketball. Playing with that ball. Like this. Then, then taking it like... <laughs> oh, man. There are endless possibilities. Look at this. Wow. Imagine this in games. Developers, please add this to your games buy the license add this to your games we are gonna love it i mean i see so much possibilities in this they're endless they're endless guys this is the future of virtual reality and full body tracking and wow we are gonna love this guys you're gonna love this when you try it out when you're gonna see the real potential of it I mean, every move I make is just so perfectly recreated in, well, in my mirror over here, in virtual reality. So, and the body as well. If, if we take another look at our body here again, man, the stomach, the legs over here, everything, all the movements. It's, you know, we don't have any trackers on our knees and elbows as well. We don't have any trackers and we don't need them. And that's mainly because of the Ikinima Orion engine that is, ha it has so much, well, advanced complex algorithms that really does the job to measure and, well, <laughs> guess what movement we are making by just moving our hip and our feet in a specific angle, in a specific position. And it just knows what is happening with the body and that's so is it's so much artificial intelligence in this so uh, wow i'm amazed and i'm <laughs> totally sweaty as well guys it's so hot in here wow guys this was amazing this is really really the future of vr with full body tracking in games in applications in every everything Guys, I just want that in games now. 
So, well, where to start? Well, I'm gonna start off by saying once again, thank you so much to the Ikinima team that let me do this video that handed over a beta version of this beautiful software. Well, it was amazing to try it out. I couldn't find any flaws, anything. It just works so well. You almost don't have to calibrate anything either. You just put on those trackers, you run a software and it just knows that Two of these are going to be on your feet, uh, the headset is of course on your head, the two Vive controllers are in your hands and uh, the lost tracker is on your hip somewhere and it just feels where it is on your body and it align, aligns it automatically and it just works. It's just so, so damn cool. So, well, thank you so much once again developers of Ikinima Orion. Well, anyway, where to start as I said. This is amazing. I was never expecting this to be so cool. The feeling of seeing your body down here, it was just, wow, it was mind blowing. It was so immersive. It, it really felt like this was my body. Every mo uh, movement of, of it, the hands, even the elbows and the knees, everything that's not even tracked. We don't have any trackers on our legs, or on our uh, knees or the elbows, but still it just does so magic work and I, I guess there are so many algorithms behind this. Well, there's, it's a very advanced engine and I really, really hope there's gonna add that in, the, well, in many games. I really hope the developers are gonna buy this because they have to buy a license for this to be able to use this engine in their games and I really hope they're gonna do that because this is magic. This adds so much to the games. I mean both single player games and also multiplayer games, sports games, fighting games, all games. I mean I cannot find any scenario where you cannot use a full body tracking and I, I think it's it's just mind-blowing and this is just the beginning and it's gonna get better also I mean this was just a beta version of uh, Ikinima Orion so well I'm amazed this this was so fun to do I wish it could do uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do more videos of it well maybe not because this is not a game you have seen it once now we want to see that in a game so developers please buy this uh, as soon as it's available, I don't know, maybe it is available already now, I, I think actually it is. Buy this, buy the license and just add that to your games. It's gonna sell, it's gonna make people happy, it make, made me happy just standing in one empty room that I created in the Unity and uh, well, it just worked, it just worked so well, it, it's, just, it's just magic. So, well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this capture it took me a lot of time to set it up I mean the preparations just to create that room and everything I'm I never programmed games in unity before so I had to add those assets and all these software into a new project and add uh, well build a room and also to able to be able to add that mirror was just like a pain in the ass it took me like four hours to even understand how I add a mirror view in uh, well in the game or in the short little demo that I did so well anyway I hope you really enjoyed it and if you did please hit the like button I would really appreciate that also there's gonna be more a lot more gameplays and other VR content with the Vive trackers so be sure to subscribe to Sweet Viver and don't miss out any of my cool videos coming up and yes my mixed reality tutorial is coming I'm gonna do that in a few parts or well many parts I think and uh, but it is coming I'm working on it okay guys so please have some patience so anyway thanks for watching see you hopefully tomorrow I don't know maybe on Friday or something because I have so much stuff to do right now there's a lot of work going on so bear with me guys there may not be a video tomorrow we'll see about that so See you when we see you. <laughs> we see each other very soon, I guess. Take care, have fun in virtual reality, and cheers!